Hello there and welcome back to Chris's Retro Corner. I'm Chris, this is my Retro Corner and this is my Sony CMT CPZ1 Micro Hi-Fi. Now we had a look at this a little while back, I'll link to the video up here somewhere. Um, and this was a Facebook Marketplace purchase just a little while ago. Um, I wanted some sound in the, in the Retro Corner um, this is definitely giving it. It's great. I'm really enjoying it. Um, in between filming things, I'm having to take it off the bench and put it back on. Um, just a little while ago, I picked up a couple of um, rather nice, rather retro looking, poseable um, speaker brackets for the uh, for the corners of the retro corner. Um, again, particularly cheap off Facebook Marketplace. Not a bad place to find things. Previously used, of course, um, probably on somebody's wall for like 20 years or something like that. Um, I, I, I rather like those. I think, I think, they're, I think they're, they're quite nice. Um, and I do like the, uh, the look of sort of studio effect speakers that are sort of angled onto the walls and pointing down at you. And, and it is, it's weird. Um, I've had this on one side, uh, both speakers on one side, and it, it just doesn't feel right. Obviously, you don't get the, the stereoscopic effect. Um, and when, you, when you're sat right in front of the speakers, you get a much, much better sound. So I definitely want those up on the walls, angled down towards where I'm working as well. So when we first had a look at this, there were a couple of problems. Um, I mentioned the, uh, the tape eject um, mechanism. There's a tiny little bit of plastic just in there. Um, that I've taken out, had a look at, reheated, it reshaped, I popped it back in, it works a treat now, as you saw. Um, another one was the remote, um, and, if, uh, and if we have a look at that, you can see there's, there's nothing there on what should be the spring terminal, it's, it's completely gone. Um, it became one with the battery that was connected to it for a number of years, I guess, leaked onto it, and it's left us with uh, just, a, just a, a little bit of a stub there. Um, the rest of the remote's not in too bad a shape. Um, it doesn't look like it's taken too many knocks, bashes or bruises. Um, it's not even really particularly dusty in between those buttons. It's quite a surprise, really. Um, what I might do is take, take some IPA. I don't know if you can see that. Let's have another go. See if it'll focus on my hand. Um, I don't know if it'll come out on camera or not, um, but things like the pause button and the, uh, the rewind fast forward buttons have got just a, a, a little bit of evidence of, um, of use there. So I might use some IPA just to, just, to rub, just to rub over that, just to refresh the contacts. A little bit of a whip round um, on the uh, carbon pads there as well. Um, but otherwise, short of replacing this, I'm not gonna do much else. There are contacts in here that I just need to clean off as well. Um, and uh, otherwise it's, it's pretty much there. So it, it's, all about, it's all about this spring contact for one of the batteries. Um, like I said, these are Xbox 360 um, terminals. I'm only gonna need one of them, of course. Um, I thought initially that the legs would be long enough for me to sort of remanufacture this, this bend here. If you see what I mean, if I get it into a decent position, you can see it's sort of um, shaped, bent round and soldered in. I'm not so sure on a second look, I'll be quite honest with you, whether I'm gonna get that shape out of, out of that little leg. Um, I don't think I'm going to. What I might be able to do is get it all in situ, bend the leg round and then, and then perhaps solder it onto the, uh, what's left of this one, clean it up a little bit um, and then solder it onto there. Um, alternatively, it might it might reach and go through the hole from the other side of the board, just on the other side there, sort of reach across, go in. We'll see. <laughs> um, so yeah, when I spend some time thinking about this and just sort of s s summing up where I'm going to go with it, I'll skip over that. I'll skip over that. Um, so yeah, let's get some bits together and uh, let's have a look at this. See what we can do with it. So I think first things first is going to be just to have a, a quick look at cleaning up the contacts that we've got here already. That one's not too bad at all. That, that one's suffering just a little bit. Let's see if we can't see if we can't give that just a, a little bit of a 
the boost. What can I use? Yep, oh, somewhat dirty microfiber cloth. I think that's going to do for now. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Ideally, I suppose I'd like to uh, sort of wire brush that and um, and try and replate it, sort of re-nickel plate it. But uh, I haven't got the equipment. Um, I think that's going to do the, uh, the job for now. Okay, let's have a look at this one. That's definitely going to require a little bit more effort. Let's give that a rub with a bit of a uh, emery cloth. okay see what I can do to clean this bit up and like I say I'm not quite sure whether I'm, I'm going to be able to remove that and still um, still have that contact reach I suspect I might but I may need up may end up needing to solder onto, uh, onto this So let's see how this fits together. Okay, that's not a bad fit at all. Let's see how this goes in. Okay. So I'll show you guys this. This is this is where we are now. Um, so you can see we've got the uh, the new contact in here. It's fully seated. It's it's in about as far as it's going to go. But what I what I am wondering is whether or not mm, dirty bit. <laughs> I need to clean that. Um, what I, what I am wondering is whether or not I shouldn't just bend this over and straight to this pad here. It might, it might, it might fit, it might fit. I could probably, I could probably straighten that little, that little bit over as well. Drop that bit out, put that on the top, and call that job done. It's not going to be particularly strong because, of course, it's sort of reliant on this, uh, on this little hook over here to give it strength when it and it goes through the board. But then, I'm not really planning to take this apart again <laughs> um yeah i think we can do that cool to the soldering iron we go then Try bending that out to the side. There you go. <laughs> and then I will. I'll straighten. I'll straighten that bit. See if we can pop that through the hole. Let's see. What I can do to get that in there. Okay, so if I uh, so if I turn that, poke that down, I should I should still get quite a reasonable amount of um, the contact through the board. Help support that. Uh, Join, which would be good. Hmm. 
Okay, so new idea. I think I'm going to go under the board and then bend that down. Don't know. A little hard to see. A little hard to see where that is there now. Um, but yeah, I think I can. I think I can turn that and, and bend it into the board. We'll go from that direction as the uh, as the original did. out there we're, we're ready to solder so you can see I've, I've reshaped that um, truncated the original path um, but yeah yeah pretty pretty happy with that I think that's I don't think that's uh, that's too bad at all couple couple seconds more fettling and uh, and then we'll solder that together Right, let's set about giving the buttons a bit of a clean and then getting it back together. Okay, I don't want to be too, uh, don't want to be too, um, vigorous on the on the board you can see there the uh, carbon's already coming off just a little bit yeah and just a just a little bit of a little bit of a once over should be enough for that and then just the back of some of those buttons as well let's, uh, let's look at putting this back together again then I'll tell you what I have forgotten to do Let's put that in there. So I'll have to poke everything out. <laughs> Pop that in. There we go. Might as well show you that just a little bit more closely. Um, so that's our that's our replaced spring terminal. Okay, pop some uh, pop some batteries in. Hopefully, this is the last time I need to be in here for a while. And uh, and let's try it out. Success! There we go. Splendid. Happy happy with that. Volume down. Just as long as I so I don't get a. YouTube strike. Um, splendid stuff. Play. Stop. What else? Tape. CD. Tuner. Yeah. Brilliant. The EQ settings there. All seems to be all seems to be working. The folder buttons. Well, there we go. And, and the clock, and so I can set the clock eventually. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, there we go. Job done. Happy, happy days. So there we go. Battery terminal successfully replaced. Happy, happy days. Um, so yeah, dead handy. Um, didn't even cost a couple of pounds for the spring terminal. So uh, definitely, definitely worth uh, sort of a 20 minute fix if that brilliant as always thank you very much for watching um do get in touch in the comments below uh, i'd like to have a nice chat um if you like what you saw give us a thumbs up if you didn't give us a thumbs down um but as always thank you ever so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you again in another video soon